Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. How many times I've been at meetings where somebody will stand up and talk about a financial bankruptcy or he will talk about a debilitation in his body or he will talk about the loss of a loved one. I remember being at one meeting where a man's 10 year old girl was run over by her neighbor's car and just literally completely mangled and died before their eyes. So horrible was the mutilation. Nobody would even dare lift up the vehicle that had done the damage. And yet the same man, bitter initially, and yet as he began to commune with God and as the tears were washing away, some of the grief said that he was the stronger and the better and the more devoted to God through that experience. The unbelieving man doesn't understand this. He has seen the unseen. Like the Bible talks about Moses, he saw him who is invisible. What it really means is he perceived the reality of that which is not sensible by our mere transitory senses. We are scorned because of exclusiveness. We are scorned because we see the unseen. We are scorned because we challenge the sovereignty of man. Moses before Pharaoh, John the Baptist before the rulers of his day, Jesus before Pilate, and you go on and on and on, and we point the finger against those who claim sovereignty against God, and as a result, we get our scorning. And lastly, we are scorned because we claim to have a morality that transcends this world. So Mary talks about being a virgin and, and conceived in her womb of the Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ and to the unbelieving man it has become the joke of the jokester, the pun of the punster, the mockery of the comedian and yet to you and me it is one of the most treasured truths of the Bible that she was overshadowed by God. Look at all of this. There are people who have tried through the use of the sword to do away with the gospel. Islam tried it. Islam in nearly 100 years tried to wipe off Christianity of the face of the earth. Its story is written in history. It is true. Marxist regimes have tried it. It has not worked. Russia has tried to smother it so much it has not succeeded. China tried to smother it, it has not succeeded. Vietnam is trying to smother it, it is not succeeding. Burma tried to smother it, it has not succeeded. And there are many, many parts of the world where the blade has been used in order to do away with the gospel. 1971, at the age of 25, a young single man, I was doing my first overseas meetings. The city was Bamethut just very close to uh, the demilitarized zone. And I remember sitting there at night after the meetings watching an amber colored sky with the firepower in the air, so often driving past highways where dead bodies were strewn after having walked on mines. It was a young life trying to handle a nation at war. And I remember the first day I arrived there, I asked if I could walk over to the graves of missionaries. And I forget the exact number, but there near a pile of rubbish was a gently marked off grave with chains around it and green and white stone if I remember. And carved on stone were the names of these five or six missionaries of the Christian and Missionary Alliance who had been brutally murdered. I think the year was 1968 as the Viet Cong marched in and did away with them callously, brutally and without any consideration of dignity for human life. We lost them to the atrocities of men.